Hi, my name is Esther Eisenman, and I'm the principal of MSH, a girls' high school on Long Island. This past Monday, we got our students together to discuss what happened, explain what happened, meditate on what happened, and daven for the community of Pittsburgh and all that you've gone through. We help them understand that what happened on Shabbat morning was very real and happened to people just like them. And in the spirit of we are all one, our students engage in a letter writing campaign to send to you, as well as um, expressing their sentiments on this video. It is our hope that since we cannot come visit you and convey our sentiments and the sense of our broken hearts to you directly, that our video can help convey that for us in the teeniest bit. We don't know what we can do or offer you to help you overcome this, but we do hope that you know that the rest of the Jewish community is with you in your sorrow, and we are praying for you, and our thoughts are with you every single day. May you know no more sorrows, and may your community rise and become stronger again. So the, the topic is a serious one, and I'm sure you all heard, in case not, I'll just reiterate, the, the news that hit us right after Shabbat was uh, the fact that the Jewish community of Pittsburgh was attacked. Uh, Eleven Jews were ri really murdered, literally murdered, and there's six that are, in, are hospitalized. I think there's two, three or four got out, and there's two in the hospital right now. They were killed for the Jews. So I think that's something we should um, think about and, and realize that when it comes to these types of issues, there's no divide in the, quote, religious spectrum. So how should we respond? but an act of semitism in America, a place that is supposed to be a place of freedom where everyone can feel safe. It was just something that no one should have to experience and go through. And even more so, the people who, whose lives were lost during this event, you can't let their memories die because of what happened. They need to live on and tell their stories because they're so much more than what happened to them at the end of their lives. They were people who experienced joy and happiness and had families, and we need to remember that and preserve what they stood for. What happened? I felt awful. I felt awful that this could happen. You know, it's something you would, something you hear about and you think, like, it's far away or it's far and a long time ago. This happened now, and it happened in America, and it happened to people of my own faith. Very, like not so far away from me 
and to the to the victims and to the families of the victims. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss. I can't even imagine the pain you're going through. Um, I just, you know, this is America. You know, prides itself on, you know, being able to people being able to freely express themselves, whether that's religion, speech, and it's been severely hindered. Clearly, and I just want to say I'm so sorry, and you know, my heart and I know that like all the Jewish people, their hearts are with you, and I'm so sorry. My response to this was I was heart shattered. This tragedy that happened to the Jewish community, to my community, even though I don't personally know the people of Pittsburgh, it really hit home for me and I was absolutely heart shattered and there's nothing I could do or say to make it better. I would like to say to the families that I'm sending my condolences, I'm extremely sorry that this tragedy happened to you and your family. After having the assembly this morning in school, after like seeing the pictures of the victims and their lives, hearing a little bit more about them, it affected me more. It was hard to see that um, these acts of violence are still happening. Um, and that it has to stop. We need to take action. However we do it, whether it's raise awareness or help people who are struggling, um, yeah, we should definitely help out in any way that we can. We're all Jewish, we're all one family, and we have to be there for each other. There are really no words. I'm, ex I'm very sorry for your loss. Uh, my mother told me, uh, Monse Shabbos, and it was sheer heartbreak. I, it's, it's such a personal thing, uh, because it, I've never heard of, like, a shooter coming into a shul, and it's such a terrible thing because all people want to do is just pray and to just do something for themselves, to speak to God and to do it to just be faithful and to have such a trust into higher power and to violate that and to denigrate that is such a, it's just an act of pure hatred. Mm -hmm. We are standing with you guys and that we are here and you're not alone. Everybody's doing everything that we can to help you guys in that we just want to help make shuls and you know, the world a safer place and that we love you. It, it was really hard and to know that a community in Pittsburgh that's in this country that could have happened anywhere, it, it was really horrible to hear and see and all over the news. It doesn't matter who they are, what they did, it's, they impacted this world somehow, everywhere somehow people are thinking about them. This was a tragedy and I, I can't imagine what you guys are going through.